These chocolate truffles, who already photograph better than me with Facetune and filters, have been going absolutely viral, you guys. Like, look at the amount of views on this. So let's talk about these two ingredient chocolate truffles. I can't figure out why they've been going so viral. Like, does everyone just really want this soft, pillowy chocolate dough into their mouths? Or is there some like super secret underground chocolate truffle stands we don't know about? Are they bigger than the K-pop stands? Dorime. So I try to look up and see if they were popular in a specific country or region with a large population and that's why they got so popular, but I guess not. Apparently, everyone all over the world loves these chocolates. There's something in Brazil called brigadeiros that are similar, but they have more than two ingredients. Brigadeiros, I think I'm saying that right, please don't cancel me, I'm trying my best are made of cacao, butter, salt, and sprinkles. I think the combination of the soft, fudgy, chocolatey flavor and the crunchy chocolate sprinkles are probably even a better texture than these chocolate truffles we're making today. But today we're not making those. We're making these viral two-ingredient chocolate truffles. So in today's episode, we're trying out the famous two-ingredient chocolate truffles. <laughs> trying Internet's famous recipe. These are just made from condensed milk and cacao powder. So let's get started with the two ingredients. Condensed milk is a creamy version of milk. It's ooey, gooey, sweet. I love all sorts of melty, creamy, gloopy stuff. Also, for some reason, I had dreams of this little milk maiden lady. She was literally my sleep paralysis demon, so I had to wake up at 5 a.m. to make these. So if the lighting seems weird and I seem a little off, that's why. And cacao powder. Now, cacao powder is a little bit more expensive than regular chocolate powder, and it's not sweetened. I'm sure that you can probably just use hot chocolate mix instead of cacao powder, but that's the lazy bitch in me talking. <laughs> Not the professional chef. The first thing you have to do is gently and gracefully and elegantly open up the condensed milk. Then you peacefully pour it into a pot. Yes, I know this pot is not clean, and no, I don't know why there's black dots all over it, but yes, I did make popcorn last night that got burnt in here, but that's neither here nor there. This is the part where I morphed into an ASMR artist and try to make cool ASMR sounds for you guys before I realized that most of you absolutely hate ASMR. It makes me kind of sad that you guys hate ASMR so much because it's like what I want to do besides have this channel is like have an ASMR channel, but apparently I'm not very relaxing. It smells amazing. So after this, all you have to do is let it simmer on the stove for a few minutes to just get it warm, but not really to get it hot and boiling because if you make it hot and boily, it'll get too gloopy and not really able to work with it. Then you pour it into a bowl and this is where the fun starts. Ideally, you should have a sifter so you could sift all the cacao powder through it and so it doesn't have chunks. Um, but I'm, I don't have a silter, I don't have a sifter. It's 2 a.m. and I'm not going to get a sifter. So, hello. From here, it's just really easy. You continue to add the cacao powder to the condensed milk until you have a gloopy, fudgy-like consistency. It might seem like you have to add a lot of cacao powder, but that's what you have to do. Um, just keep adding. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. A few of the recipes that I looked up online had varying degrees of cacao powder to add so i'm not exactly sure i just added it until i saw that it had the same consistency as the other videos that i watched had if you guys do make this at home feel free to text me about it at 702-930-2436 i might text you back i try to text back as many people as i can but i also send merch discounts notifications for cool new videos anyway look at this beautiful iconic chocolatey fudgy consistency it would be so beautiful if it wasn't clumpy Mm, do you guys know what goes great with melty chocolate truffles? A delicious cup of fresh brewed coffee. That brings me to today's sponsor, Trade Coffee, an online coffee service where you can discover new coffees from the nation's top roasters. They have this little online quiz that you take and you basically tell them what you want, you click on a few photos, and they will recommend a personalized coffee that's right for you. They deliver it straight to your door and then you're ready to make a delicious cup of coffee. You can make it with a French press, an espresso machine, drip coffee, however you like. They sent me two types of coffee, but my favorite one is this one called Ad Astra. It's this heavy, dark, roasted blend of high density coffees from African Indonesia, and it has this like scent of dark chocolate and cola and the tones that linger in your mouth are like caramelized sugar it's so sophisticated and fancy i literally love it i love coffee so much like the only thing it's missing is like a walnut and chocolate flavored coffee hello if that sounds yummy to you and you want to try out trade coffee click the link in the bio to get 30 percent off your first bag when you sign up and there's also free shipping included let me know if you guys try it out back to making truffles 
After this, all you have to do is so gracefully put plastic wrap or saran wrap onto a bowl or some kind of square plate. I don't have a square plate, so I use a circular one and the plastic wrap got attached and clumped together and made me physically angry at 2 a.m. and I was making so much noise with this. Like it literally sounded like I was ripping someone's insides open, but <laughs> After 73 tries of trying to get saran wrap into the bowl, which was pretty much harder than making these truffles entirely, all that's left to do is scoop them from the bowl onto the plate and refrigerate them. Um, they're really lumpy and gloopy. I would recommend maybe scooping with a plastic slash rubber spatula if you have one. Using a plate, using a fork or a spoon is really not that great. This is the view the chocolate truffles had while I was making them. Um, so, you know, they're really lucky they got to see me at my prime. <laughs> Speaking of primes, have you guys been watching The 100? This season, the finale is kind of losing me and I'm kind of upset because I've been a loyal fan. Some of my favorite TV shows are like Prison Break, The 100, um, Snowpiercer. Let me know if you have any TV tv show recommendations down below okay so after i let these little truffles chill in here overnight i packed them up tightly like they were a christmas present <laughs> but this is how they looked in the sunlight they were absolutely glowing gleaming beautiful shiny iconic um i sprayed down a little bit of cacao powder on the cutting board because i knew we had to like shape these and i knew they were going to be a little bit extra sticky so i gently unraveled them from their saran wrap wrapping and flopped them down violently onto the cutting board I peeled back their protective layer and they were no longer enveloped in a condom. At this point, all that's left to do is photograph them from my TikTok and Instagram. If you do like my videos, you just wish they were a little bit shorter and faster, please feel free to come to Instagram or TikTok. I put a lot of the same content on there, just like a lot faster because it's only like a minute. So, we I sprayed more cacao powder on the top and then it was finally time to cut these into pieces. I lowered down the knife slowly so they weren't scared of it and I started cutting off the edges. Now if I had used a square bowl this would have been a lot easier but you know you gotta work with what you gotta work with. I cut the sides off and just put them straight into my mouth. <laughs> no I didn't save them for later okay I just ate them leave me alone. <laughs> And then I cut them into nine equal pieces, or I tried to anyway. I should have like brought out a measuring tape for this because this was honestly a mess. Also, another tip I have is to maybe wipe the knife after every slice you have. It just feels like you're wasting a lot of chocolate when you do that. I, but please don't lick the knife. I don't want anyone to have a cut tongue because of me. Do not lick knives. That is the recommendation from this channel. Do not lick knives. After they had more photography sessions, this is how they looked. Let me know if you guys think they look close enough to the original. Here's mine versus the original in the bottom corner. Or if you think this was a complete flop. To be honest, you could not even like taste that they were chunky at all. Um, not having a sifter actually worked out just fine. So if the sifter is the reason you're not making these at home, please make them. I'm, I literally promise you that if you make them with hot chocolate powder, they'll even be yummier. If you do make them with hot chocolate powder, feel free to like tag me on Instagram, text me because like, I literally think these would be yummier with hot chocolate powder because the cacao flavor is so thick and rich and like developed and professional. And it's like a dark cacao flavor. It's too much. Like I would like milk chocolate truffles or something, you know, shaping these honestly took longer than anything I have ever done in my entire life and then finally it was time to let them sit in the sun and bask in their glory a really cool thing about these truffles is they actually don't melt in the sun so i would highly recommend them let me know if you make them below let me know if you think i made it close enough to the original and don't forget to enjoy a nice cup of trade coffee along with your chocolate truffles that was today's episode of trying weird recipes i found on the internet also, I wouldn't leave these in the fridge if I were you guys because literally they got moldy in like two days and I was like saving them and I don't understand. Maybe it's the milk or the cacao, but for some reason these get moldy really, really, really quick. So yeah, I was going to try to eat those, but apparently they're already moldy in like two days, which I feel like nobody said in their recipe that they get moldy super quick. I think maybe it's from the milk or do you guys know like why? Also, I've noticed things here get moldy a lot faster than they did in America. Like I feel like in America, I could leave tomatoes and cucumbers and bread in the fridge for like a month and then just get to it when I want and it wouldn't go moldy and it would be totally fine. But here, everything molds immediately. I'm like, hello, give me some time to decide what I want to eat. Also, feel free to let me know which recipes you want me to try next. These chocolate truffles were so requested on my Instagram. Like 20,000 of you said yes to me cooking them. And I was like, why is everyone so interested in them? Because to me, they, they look kind of interesting, but not like that interesting. But I am really interested in the sponge cakes that Emma makes. Um, but yeah, let me know like if you guys have seen any other really cool recipes lately that you want me to try. Walnuts out.